What happens to us after we die? Finding an answer to this question is more than a simple curiosity because it defines the kind of life we will live. A believer in Jesus Christ can be confident they have a future home in heaven. But what happens next? Today's question comes from a man who wants to know more about our heavenly rewards. And so he writes, Will Christians have to give an account for how they live? If so, does this occur at the judgment seat of Christ? And how would it determine our eternal rewards? My friend says the only account Christians will give is whether or not they've accepted Christ as their Savior. He believes all Christians will be rewarded the same because it wouldn't be fair to do otherwise. Well, the answer to your question when you say, will there be an account? The truth is yes. And I want to read you a couple of verses of Scripture. First of all, in Romans chapter 14, here's what he says. We will all, in verse 10, he says, We will all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. So to answer your question, yes, there's going to be a judgment, and that we're going to give an account uh, to the Lord for our life. And I want you to look at another passage, if you will, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and uh, verse 10. Listen to what he says. This clarifies it. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may be recompensed for his deeds in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. It is totally unscriptural to think that everybody is going to be rewarded the same. There's no such thing. And so when you think about that and think about the fact of saying that God is unfair, God is not unfair. He is the perfect God who knows every single thing. This is going to occur at the judgment seat of Christ. It's very clear in the scriptures. Now, the important thing is this, and sometimes people don't like to think about this. What are these rewards going to be based on? Sometimes a person will say, well, you know, I've been good, I've done this, I've done that, and I've done the other. There are three things. Number one, the light of truth that person has received. Number two, the opportunity God has given them. And number three, their response to God's opportunity. These are the things by which we'll be judged. Now, nothing compares to an intimate relationship with God. So make this the priority of your life. Obey Him, leave all the consequences to Him, and you will experience life at its best now and for all eternity.